Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and do another update, honey, on the whole Charlemagne the God situation. So if you guys don't know, it was reported yesterday that HBO was basically taking away Charlemagne the God's deal. If you guys remember earlier in the summer, they had announced that he'd be getting his own HBO show called The Gray Area. And now in a new article with page six, this is what HBO is reporting. Let me go ahead and read this to y'all. So on Monday, an HBO spokesperson told page six HBO is taking a serious look into the information that has surfaced and the newly surfacing information is from an episode of the brilliant of the brilliant idiots podcast from three years ago when Charlemagne told how as a young man he got this girl real drunk and gave her an aphrodisiac Spanish fly and had sex with her asked if she passed out Charlemagne replied she wasn't coherent but she was up like when you're blacked out. Monday on the same podcast, Charlemagne said, the way I communicated the story in that clip was dead ass wrong and I apologize. He stressed that the sex was consensual and taking Spanish fly, I didn't take advantage of anyone, he said, admitting that the way he told the story seemed sketchy now. HBO was quick to sever relationships with Mark Harleprin and Russell Simmons when accusations of sexual misconduct surfaced. And when Louis C.K. was accused, HBO removed his content from their on-demand services. Charlemagne is now 40 and he pled guilty in 2002 to contributing to the delinquency of a minor after a 15-year-old girl claimed he had raped her. Now 32, she wants the case reopened, but prosecutors said that they cannot renege on Charlemagne's plea deal. A petition was launched earlier this month calling for iHeartRadio, which syndicates The Breakfast Club and 50 plus markets nationwide to fire Charlemagne, has garnered more than 18,800 signatures. Charlemagne's lawyer said that he never had sexual relations or any physical contact with the accuser and even provided DNA to prove it. All right, so you guys just heard me read all of that. Well, this morning, Charlemagne got onto the Breakfast Club and he basically spoke about the situation. Um, he stated that the new report, he stated that the reports and the details from the allegations are not online and I have those details. He wants people to read through them. He's saying that he's not guilty of rape, but that he does feel bad for the victim and that she'll be in his prayers. And then he also reprimanded himself by saying that, you know, he shouldn't have said what he said and that, you know, he needs to watch his words better and that he realizes that, you know, once you have a platform like that, it comes with a great responsibility. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what he had to say this morning on The Breakfast Club. So go ahead and check this out. I'm also going to show you guys the paperwork that he's talking about in this video as well. So go ahead and check it out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. But you yeah. have something that you want to say about yeah, the, the I case? I just got something I want to say. Um, I, I haven't said anything because I was waiting for more information to come out and it's been a nutty three weeks and I've learned a lot about the weight my words have and I've been reminded about the responsibility I have to watch the way I talk about issues of sexual assault and new files from my dismissed assault case in South Carolina were, were just released I think they came out yesterday and I hope this quashes whatever misconceptions people might have about the case um, the documents show that I did everything in my power to fully cooperate with authorities before this case was ultimately dismissed and to be honest with you the past three weeks has really made me regret you know, helping to create an environment that allowed something like this out, something like this to take place. Like, I'm going to forever regret that, but I cannot take responsibility for a crime that I did not commit. But most importantly, you know, I am praying for healing for the victim, okay? And I am committed to using my platform that God has blessed me with to do as much good as I possibly can for the rest of my life, right? And I don't I don't know if I plan to make any more public, public statements on this in the near future, but I just thought that was important for me to say and let everybody know that um, the, the, the new files from my dismissed assault case are out there. And I'm sure that they'll hit a bunch of websites and stuff shortly. So you can, you can see for yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. This will include like DNA testing and everything? Yes. And statements and witnesses. And all, all that. All, all that. that. Okay. Yes. And this also means that the case... I know we said before it won't be reopened, but this reiterates the case will not be reopened? Um, yeah, according to the solicitor of South Carolina a couple of weeks ago, she definitely said the case won't be reopened. She said that it would be unethical to reopen a case where there was a uh, lack of evidence and the victim wouldn't cooperate. So, yeah. Okay. But, you know, once again, man, most importantly, uh, I'm, I'm praying for healing for the victim.
you okay. know, and I, and, I, and I totally regret, you know, creating an environment that allowed for something like that to, to take place. All right, well, we look forward to seeing this paperwork and reading all this paperwork. Yeah, and I'm a, I'm a, as, soon as soon as other people post it, I'm definitely going to be reposting it and stuff all day long, so. All right. All right, so you guys just heard what Charlemagne had to say. He does sound very apologetic. And I'm sure, you know, all of this is really kicking him in the ass right now. Because as we all know, he has a little baby on the way. And then for him to lose that HBO show, I know it's really hurting him. I'm not about to go ahead and rehash this whole case and say the same shit I said in the other two videos. If you guys want to know my opinion of the situation and how I feel about the situation, y'all can go watch those videos. I'm not going to go ahead and repeat everything. Like I stated, the documents are now online. That's your job as an individual to do your due diligence. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you have the right to believe that this man is guilty or not guilty you know that's your own choice to come up to that conclusion but with that being said South Carolina is still saying that they're not going to reopen this case and like I've always said from day one in my personal opinion besides the rapist who was guilty of raping that girl the mother also dropped the ball and I will always stand by that opinion I ain't the type of bitch that's gonna say something and then turn around and act like I didn't mean it I meant everything I said bitch I meant it and again, like I said, people need to take this entire situation as a lesson, okay? One, no means no. Nobody should be slipping anything in anybody's drink, okay? And especially in this climate that we now live in. Women are not finding their voices. They're not playing with this Me Too, Time's Up movement. So a lot of these guys need to be really, really careful. You know what I'm saying? Not saying y'all gotta walk on eggshells, but you need to be really careful and make sure that every time you're having sex with a woman, that one, it's very much consensual and that both people are in their sober mind. You cannot be sleeping with a drunk person because again, if she yells out that you raped her and she was drunk, you can be held accountable. So I think as men and women, we need to take more responsibility for our actions in the bedroom and make sure that there's consent every single time. Now, with this 15-year-old girl, that's a whole different case. Nobody in their damn 20s should be sleeping with a child who's 15, okay? But like I've said in my previous videos, as parents, it is our job to protect our children. And if your children are coming to you saying that something happened to them at a party or that they were raped, you need to go on ahead and file charges and go through with it to the fullest extent of the law. I saw a lot of people making excuses for the mother saying, well, she might have been threatened. You know, she didn't want anybody in her business. At that point in time, your child should be the most important focus, not everybody else. Even if we had to move out of Monk's Corner, South Carolina, so that way my child could have a normal life, that's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? So the whole situation is just really crazy. And I hope that Charlemagne takes this as a lesson. Like, you know, you have to watch what you say. You have to be a accountable for your words and like I said a lot of this stuff would have never came out if it was not for Charlemagne himself nobody knew about this case nobody asked him about the case he divulged this information just like he divulged everything he was saying on the brilliant idiots podcast he divulged that information and unfortunately it came back to bite him so even if he's not guilty everything does look really really shady so I hope a lot of people take a lot of different lessons from this entire situation so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Charlemagne and him basically putting these documents out there stating that he didn't have anything to do with this and that he did not rape this girl and then also how do you feel about what he had to say on the breakfast club and how do you feel about HBO pulling the plug on his show amidst these allegations so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs>
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.